Greetings fellow Earthlings and welcome to the Civilization 3 series called Mongolian Greeks, basically playing as Greece on an Earth map that started me in Mongolia. That's why it's called this and yeah, hope you're enjoying this series so far. And let's go. So, went to in the First World War now, basically I'm right now at war with Persia, Mongolia. There's lots of other diplomatic wars going on. We have Carthage on our side and Ottomans are just doing whatever they want. Um, they've got about four cavalry units in this city here. Gonna give it a go with one medieval infantry. If this doesn't go well, I'm retreating from Erin. And it's gone well, so that's good. Um, and it's hunting the mustard here next. Yeah. Um, should have another medieval infantry, yep. Yes, I'm gonna take it. I've taken it, yes, good, 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 good. Right, so... Um, yeah, I'll install a new governor. I might lose it very quickly, but... Yeah, that's just how war is at times. Send a rifleman in there to defend. Try and get another rifleman quickly over here. And there's about one tile away. Oh well. Um, also, I want a rifleman in Athens as well for extra defence, and then it can start on its bank. Defence and gold is what I need. Um, do I really need a rifleman down here? I could always move him north, but yeah, go for a rifleman. Um, completed the bank. Yeah, no, don't bother with university if you use some. Yeah, build a university. I'll be producing science soon. Right, what's wrong with these? Yeah, they don't like I'm at war with Mongolia, so that's why they're resisting me. Um, yeah, I would pro probably resist me as well, but... Yeah, oh well. Ugh, <laughs> hay uh, fever's coming back a bit. There we go, it's all back up there. <laughs> right. Where am I? Okay, I'm gonna want this rifleman here on the front line. Uh, Mustatia also on the front. Defend. 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 And defend. Starting to run out of ideas for these workers now, so soon I will be sending them into Athens to sell them to other cities. Babylon and Carthage have signed a mutual protection back. It looks like Babylon are joining our side against Ottomans, Mongolia and Persia, so that's good. Well, it's probably not because Babylon are just going to get completely slaughtered by the Ottomans if they do go to war, which is not going to be good for them. I haven't seen any Mongolian soldiers for a while, so I'm hoping, it's unlikely, but I'm hoping that Carthage is really slaughtering them, so I'll give it a couple of turns, and then I might start sending my soldiers down, and hopefully take Choi Balsen or Rulan Bator, depending on what would be best for me. I think this one would probably be best, but uh, we'll see when we get to it. It's all about defending the lands we've taken right now. Yeah, here comes that cavalry again. I should defend against these by probability, but of course probabilities don't always work right in Civilization 3, so I got completely slaughtered. I hate it when that happens. You have a tank destroyed by a warrior. At least that's much rarer in Civ 5 at least. Oh god. No. That that's awful that. Two brilliant units there. Babylon's gone to war with Persia. Yeah, it looks like they're on our side. 
Right, I don't really have that good of a defense right now because we just slaughtered my riflemen. Gotta go on the aggressive with my aggressive units. And of course, yet again, I should have won that, but I got completely slaughtered. That's just how Civ 3 works. I should win this battle. And I did, so at least it was right there. Um, didn't have to send another rifleman. Right, try that. Might distract them a little bit. Yeah, they're retreating. Good. Babylon declare war on Mongolia. Yes. Right, what's this here? This is a Carthaginian iron flag. Good, I don't have to worry about that. Um, okay, so this has two defensive units, this one has two. Really need these riflemen, soldiers, well, cities I'm talking to. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just going to say I, I said it right for that one. Ottomans and Persia have signed a military against us. Oh, I'm at war with the Ottomans. Babylon declared war on the Ottomans. Right, we're moving a bit, a lot of the resistance, which is good. But now they're rioting, so we've got to keep those under control. That'll sort itself out once we're at peace with Mongolia. Well, it should do. You go there, what a mine, um, what can we build, oh, I can only really build uh, mines on this tundra tile, tile. Hopefully we might be able to irrigate that land once where we've got the technology for it. Come on. That was rubbish. That was just horrible to watch. Come on, defend. Good. Right, this should defend. It's got a city as an extra defensive bonus. Yeah, it has done well done. Uh, Rome, Carthage, blah blah blah. So, Rome have declared war on Persia. Yay, Carthage comes to my rescue again. <laughs> Didn't work that well, but at least I tried. Can't really complain with them saving my life. Ooh, it looks like we've had a slight turnaround here. Um, Carthage have taken Tabriz, so we're making a decent push on them now. On the Mongols, that is. Um, Babylon, just go home. <laughs> You've lost the city to them. And two more have just been destroyed in the space of one turn. I've never seen anything that bad before. Well, I have, but it's rare. So that looks like we're going to have uh, the Ottomans completely dominating North America and North of the South America. With little Persia just clinging on at the South. Oh no. Looks like Carthage are coming to our rescue yet again. That's good. So far, I will say this war has been successful and I will sign peace happily. But I can't do because I've got to wait another, I think it's 10 more turns now. Because Carthage need to be at peace with them. Egypt and Carthage. So Egypt declare war on Mongolia. Good, we've got Egypt on our side as well. Yes, hopefully we can win this war. I would gain very little from it. Just one city. I lost a city but I gained another, so... Yeah, not that great, but... Yeah, Carthage and Egypt are... Possibly even Rome will gain a lot out of this war. Whoa! That, that sounded far too overexcited there, but... Yeah, have you seen this here? There used to be four Mongolian cities 
on Greenland. That's four Mongolian cities. Ottomans have captured one of them and destroyed the other two. They've almost been thrown completely out of North America now. That I did not expect. That, that stood, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with that. Right. Kill this monster to you. Right, kill this cavalry man, I should have said. Running out of units. Come on, defend. Please defend. Otherwise, every is gonna look in danger. Oh, don't have enough defenses, I don't think. Yes, well done, my government. Well done. And they do it again. Yes. Okay, so um, Rome have signed an embargo against us. Ah, wow. <laughs> Last episode we went into darkness. Soon I think we'll be coming out of it. It's looking like a much brighter world now, even though there's a lot more going on. Um, Ottomans have just built a colony there. They're not really. Whoa! Uh, yeah, I get far too excited for this. <laughs> Wow. Um, yeah, that's another three cities that once belonged to the Ottomans now. Three cities once belonged to Babylon, lost to the Ottomans, so we're going to see a massive rise in an Ottoman Empire in the north, which is not good, that's close to me, meaning eventually I will have to build a navy here, which I don't want to have to do, but looks like I don't have much of a choice. Good thing I get along with Carthage, otherwise that'll be it, I'll be dead. Right, um, how long do I have left of this war until I'm... Oh, oh, no, hold on. Oh, yeah, here's the news right now. Um, I don't know if it's actually recording this Amazon there. This is why you should buy Windows 8, it puts it on a very complex and weird looking format, which is very difficult to understand. I'll trigger Article 50 by end of March 2017. Right. Here we go. We're back on. <laughs> yeah, I've just pressed the wrong button there. Sent us to the main screen um, with the news and just my folders. If there's anything I had to blurb out there, like personal information, then I just would. But I don't. Didn't see anything, so that's fine. Look at all these dotted lines to represent all the different complex wars that are going on. This is what I like about Civilization 3, it can become really complex at times, but in a good way because it feels like real life. Right. Let's see this active deal we've got. Three more turns. In three turns, we can sign peace. Good, 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 good. Um, can I get these cheap? I actually can, but I don't really want them, so... Um, as brilliant of a deal as that is, I'm not going to accept, <laughs> because I don't really want it. You know what, let's be eco-friendly and plant a forest to um, commemorate, if that's the right world word, this first world war we're going through. Let's plant a forest. So that's Babylon dead, the Ottomans finished them off in the end. Mongols and Carthage have signed a peace treaty, that means I can sign peace with Mongolia right now without any side effects. Which is good. Doesn't look like any um, cities were handed over, just what was done in the war, so. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, I like that music. I like his art as well. So let's try and sign peace. Right, um, what can I get from you? Can I get any cities? That'd be good. I doubt it, but it doesn't give it a go anywhere. Nope. I'll just try a few, I won't try them all. No, it don't look like they're going to give me any cities. What about technologies? Oh, come on. It looks like it's just another piece for piece. Any gold per turn? No, just a normal piece for so. Yeah, I'll happily sign that. Um, Babylon's gone, so there's now a massive gap here. 
what wars are still going on though? I'm still at war with Ottomans and Persia. I can sign peace with Persia. Come on, give us technology. No, that's not going to happen. Any gold? Nothing. Well, it looks like it's just going to be a normal peace street here, and with the Ottomans. Ottomans aren't willing to listen to me right now. Every other country is still at war with somebody. Hopefully I'll be the first to enter a, an era of peace, which would be good. Uh, I no longer need all this gold. Well, I do, but... Let's put it to some science. There, that's perfect, and... Yeah, yeah, good. We don't have too many soldiers, which is always a good sign. Means we can build up an army, at least. Um, not much I can really do here. Build some mines. Apart from that, nope. Hopefully we can catch up with technology now. Right, Persia and Carthage have signed peace. Um, yeah. It's not really like a big treaty of Versailles where everybody loses something and like it's a, the treaty is a complete mess. It's more like peace for peace, nothing else, just we'll sign this piece of paper here and we'll never talk about this war ever again, sort of deal. Uh, which is a shame, I'd have preferred the rise of at least some other nation. That looks very powerful and yeah, something like that. By the looks of things we'll have a World War II emerging from all this. All these hostilities caused. Carthage and the Ottomans. No, I'm not signing that again. That could send me into a lot of wars that I don't want to be involved in. Peace for peace. Let's see, can we get anything else out? No. Nah. I'm done after giving 30. Nope. 35. If I can give you a full 40 gold then. Yeah. And we're at peace. Um, there might be a few nations still fighting on, but. Ah, uh, yeah. That shouldn't mount too much. Ooh, what's happened here? So... I don't know, I'm so confused. <laughs> right. This is what must have happened. Mongolia took the Egyptian city, Bhutto. Rome took the once Egyptian city, now Mongolian city, Bhutto. So that's increased Rome borders a little bit slow. They haven't lost too much, actually. Apart from almost everything, but at least they're regaining strength. That's good. Um, the Mongols are still at war with ev almost everybody, but at least me and Carthage have at peace with everyone now, which is good for us. Hopefully our two um, coalitions in East Asia can build together a big enough army to finish off the Mongols in some Second World War, but for now I just need a bit of peace. Get steam power, get some railroads built as well, that'd be really good. That would really help with transport. Um, yeah, get some riflemen. Might as well. It's gonna take five turns, but. Oh well. Um, yeah, send these riflemen. Oh, no, change of plan, change of plan. No, I'm not accepting any mutual protection packs which are same as defensive packs. That's just not going to happen. I'm going to send the weaker units up here to the cities that don't really need any massive amounts of military occupation. And for more stronger riflemen down to here. That should work well. Anyway, first end this episode now. First World War is near enough over for everybody. Well, me and Carthage at least. Mongolia still fights on. Hopefully Mongolia lose a bit of land. That'll be very good for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like it if you have. Subscribe for more videos in this civilization series. And building more forests around the city of Kronos here to pay my respects to the war. Don't really know if it, it won't do anything, but yeah, might as well have a bit of fun. Put a bit of historical accuracy in here.
and actually I don't want you building an aqueduct. Um, the reason for that is, if they build an aqueduct, they can expand, they'll become a city, and then the problem is, um, the walls, as you can see here, these will, will no longer be put into effect, so... Yeah, I want to keep my walls, so don't build a city, basically. Yep, got some two more riflemen coming out very soon, which will be good for my defence. Yeah, build up my armies. Getting, still getting gold per turn, which is very good. Even though I'm now on, was on 70% science. Build roads. Oh no, no, didn't want to build that. I wanted forests instead. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video. Like it if you have. Don't know what, what I'm waiting for. I think I'm just waiting to get steam power, basically. See if there's any coal in my land. Um, yeah, you can stay there. Forest. And let's irrigate some of this land. Yeah, get some more food in. Yeah, just going to continue with this, this video to see if I've got any coal. Hopefully I do, that'll be good. Oh, can you hear my stomach rumbling right now? Probably can't, but you might be able to. Yep, building the forest around Kronos. Don't know why it's there, just... I started building there, thought I might as well continue. You know, I'm gonna upgrade these units to riflemen. Whilst I've got the money. Let, let's industrialise, shall we? Yeah, let's let's go down the industrial route. Yeah. So do we have coal? Um, oh no, we don't have any coal. Carthage does. Do we need it? Um, do we have any spare workers? Not yet. Oh, I'm really lengthening out this video. I think you can build railroads with iron and you don't need coal. Could be wrong with that. Hopefully I'm right. It means we can start building railroads across our nation. Because we have about three sorts of, sorted of iron. Possibly another one somewhere. No, it's just three. What else do we have? Ah, it's just showing the luxury resources. That's not important. And no, we can't build railroads. We need... We need iron and coal, so let's get a deal going. Carthage and coal. Actually, quite a lot of it as well. Come on, Carthage. Can you give it as a gift? You know what? Let's cancel this deal with the furs. Yeah, this is actually good. I give you the fur. And you give me the coal for a certain amount of turns whilst I build my railroads and then we'll cancel the deal. Yeah, so done start building railroads. Really looking forward to these railroads. Increase transport massively. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like it if you have. Subscribe for more subscribe for more civilization free videos. We're getting through the series quite quickly now. Um, already in the industrial area, but it can slow down at times. Carthage are threatening me. I'm going to give them what they want because I'm scared of him. <laughs> Even though he's my ally, I'm scared of him. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and good. Bye.